education and building the economy of this state and all the things you're working on now. And all the legislators are here. Uh, I see that Representative Brisson's just come in here. Representative Tim Spear. There are a whole lot of them. I won't try to introduce them all, but we're proud of, of all of them and, and grateful to have them here. Uh, there's so many business people and other supporters of Smart Start in this room, we can't begin to introduce them all. But we have put out a, some sheets that, that show who you are. Uh, I've got to mention Tom Bradshaw, the great former mayor of this city, Secretary of Transportation, worldwide business leader, Dick Doherty, who brought IBM to North Carolina and grew it to be the biggest IBM site in the world. Uh, and Bob Ingram, thank you so much for, for those words and for your leadership. What a great leader in business and education. By the way, you all, he was, uh, we were going to start this at 11 o'clock today, but he had to be on a conference call out of Switzerland with people around the world on a business he's involved in. Uh, so we started at 11.30, but it's always got to go back and get back on that conference call. But thank you so much for all that you do. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Huff. What a, what a wonderful pediatrician, friend of children, and a, and a great, great leader. And every time I hear you, I get inspired. I'm a better person. <laughs> Thank you, Colson, for keeping that up. And this fine young man, uh, Todd Hildebrand, some of you have, have called me governor. I was governor of North Carolina. He's the governor of North Carolina and South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Kiwanis governor of two states. <laughs> We're proud to have him here, and we, and we thank all of you all for coming. Uh, I'm not going to take a few minutes because we want you all to ask your questions. Uh, I think it's appropriate that business people be here today, men and women from all over the state. I've met a lot of you in here today. I want to speak to all the rest of you if I can. Because you know what Smart Start is about. You not only believe in it, you lead in it. So many of you here are chairs of the board, of county commissioners, or Smart Start board. You're on the boards. Your businesses are behind it. I remember we started off in Caldwell County. Every business in Caldwell County was a supporter of Smart Start. Had the name uh, on the card about it. Uh, by the way, we've got. Uh, I, I told you about Tom Bradshaw and Dick Darkin. We've got Dr. Bob Bridges here. This tall, good-looking man here was <laughs> our Wake County School Superintendent here for so many years. He did such a great job, and we're proud of him. If you're going to have good businesses and good jobs and lots of jobs and better jobs as we go along that pay more so we can live on it, you've got to have good education. This state has been about building its education and making it better ever since we started building the first public university in America. We did that. Put our money into it because we knew it would pay off. And then we came along and, and had a community college system. I think it's the biggest in America. It is superb. We're so proud of it. And it does all you from the counties know what your community college is like. <coughs> That's where the, the teachers for early childhood go, right? right. Get their degrees. Uh, we've got such a such a good K through 12 system, and getting better all the time. Listen, during the 1990s, our test scores, the NAEP test scores, went up more than any state in America. The people from the Rand Corporation told me that they thought that was largely due to our early childhood program. By that time. We've got more four in place in North Carolina. That's a wonderful program. Really successful. With 30,000 children in it or something like that. And Smart Start works with it. It's a great team. We're very proud of that and we need to keep that and, and improve it. Now, Smart Start, you, you all have heard, you know how it works. You've heard these people talk about it. I went out of office after two terms. And I look back on what we've done in those eight years, and I was not satisfied at all. And my question was, we tried, we've done a lot of stuff. Bob Bridges, you remember that. But we still had this high dropout rate, and these test scores weren't going up. And I said, what's wrong here? 
and I studied and I thought and I read a lot of studies and this brain research came out and we found out we were starting too late. Just starting too late. That brain was already developing or not developing in those earliest years, the first three years of the most important. So when I came back in as governor, working with the business community, and every big business leader in this state supported it and worked with us. Working with the legislature, Democrats and Republicans. Uh, 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 Representative Brubaker became speaker shortly after I, I came back in. We had both Democrats and Republicans working on this. We set up Smart Start as a public-private partnership. Now, all of these folks working together. We started working on those early years and doing it with real quality, doing the kinds of things you've heard people talk about here. Now, folks, it's worked. It has worked. I don't know if you saw the Duke University study last week. Amazing results from Smart Start uh, in every county in North Carolina and more at four. So we've got something that really works. I want to share this story with you. When I, I recruited a lot of the help. Bob Ingram and Dick Doherty and others. I recruited a lot of industry in North Carolina. I worked hard at it. I went all over the globe constantly recruiting. I want to tell you, they ask about education all the time, all the time. And they also want to know, well, what about the children? Our employees have to have good child care. They have to have it. And, and not only that, y'all are preparing our future workforce. We want to be in North Carolina a long time. And so both of these things are involved here. And that's why business has been so excited about it and, and, and very responsive to it. Final thing I want to say to you all today is this. This is a challenging session of the legislature. We, we need to, I'm not going to say feel sorry for them. We feel <laughs> sorry for everybody. It's a tough time. But we need to understand what the legislators are having to go through. We've got to make cuts. We've got to make cuts everywhere. But we need to be real careful <coughs> that we don't cut more than we have to. We need to be real careful that nothing happens to destroy this public-private partnership that we've got going in North Carolina that belongs to our people. It's yours, right? Yes, sir. Probably doesn't know this. It's all of you 100 in 100 counties, 77 partnerships. It's your program. You are making it work. Thank you. We appreciate you doing it. I know the legislators do. We can make it even better. You raise a good bit of private money, right? You're going to raise more. Listen, Smart Start has looked at across America as the best early childhood program there is. States all over this country have, uh, have replicated. Some of the governors have written, can we name it Smart Start? Okay. <laughs> You've got some of this good. You don't want to mess it up. And so I hope very much we'll all work together to keep it strong, to keep this public-private partnership, including the state partnership board, which does such a good job there, appointees by the governor and by the legislative leaders, uh, to have these boards in the, out in the counties and working uh, with all the people, including these business leaders. We have done and are doing something that is really important. It is something you, you talked about in North Carolina, maybe be the best. By the way, I think we're ahead of Georgia population. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted us to be the best here in North Carolina. And Smart Start is a big part of us being as good as we are now and getting to the top. So I want to thank all of you. You worked hard, you believe in this. You come down here today, business leaders, smart start leaders of all kinds. Representative Crawford, thank you for your leadership and all the members of the legislature. Let's work hard now. This is going to be tough. This is what do And I hope we'll all work our heads off. And I trust that it will come out right for North Carolina's future. Thank you all very much.